What the fuck does it mean to be boring? Are you boring? Am I? No, no, I'm not boring. I'm actually fucking dope. But you might be, right? Or at least people think you are. They see you walking around your school or your workplace and you keep your head down and you put your headphones in. And nobody fucks with you because you don't say anything. That's how you like it, probably, maybe, I don't know. Try some outreach, dude. Make some friends if that's like, if you're not cool with that. But if you are, right, you may wonder if people see you as boring or maybe you see yourself as boring, but I don't. I think, well, uh, let me, you know, I'm skipping ahead here. So I was watching Bigata HK, which is like this trashy rom-com anime from spring 2010, which is a season I'm watching all of right now because it, you know, they got big things in the works. But this show, is it's trashy, like I said, but it's cute. It's got heart, and it's got intimacy, and it's trying to say something. I don't know what that is, but I saw something else that was interesting, and I'm going to talk about that instead, which is that the main guy is boring, as far as anyone can tell. No one fucks with him in his class. I don't even remember if he has friends or not. Because, like, let's be honest, I'm not fucking paying that close attention to Bigata HK. But, uh, I'll say this. The girl that he is fucking with, the main girl, who's like a, a babe or whatever, and she's like the class idol, and everyone thinks she's super hot, and her goal is to just fuck a hundred guys. But she's actually like a panicky virgin weirdo. So she thought she'd like break the ice with like a loser who she wouldn't be nervous with. But then she gets feels for him because it's an anime. That's how that works. But what's fucked up is that she thinks this guy's boring, right? Not that that's like uh, unexpected. He probably thinks himself as boring. But when she digs in, right, and she like gets to know more about him, she catches feelings because the guy is a person. Like he has depth and shit, you know? He's like a photographer and he fucking, you know, has his own concerns and thoughts and feelings and shit. And he's complicated. He was like at the bookstore at the beginning, you know, he, he reads a little bit. It's clear the guy is not just a fucking walking, talking mannequin, you know? But we see other people that way. We may not, we may try not to, right? We may remind ourselves that there's depth to people that we're not thinking about, but we forget, like we just do. We, we look around and we see people as like these faceless, you know, nothing burgers. We just assume there's nothing to them because we don't think about them at all, really. I don't even know if we lend enough consideration to them to have the word normal like enter our brain space. I've made some active efforts to change this about myself by picking people's brains. So so I've worked as a dishwasher for a couple of years, right? At a nice little restaurant. It's not little, it's not particularly nice even. It's, it's like a chain in Florida, but either way, it's like a fine gig, right? The work's not too hard, but it's boring as shit. So to keep myself entertained, I just shoot the shit with like my coworkers, anybody who walks by, I trap them, I'm like a Venus flytrap, and I, I grab hold while they're trying to do their business, and I start like interviewing them, I just start fucking interrogating these people with whatever I can think of, just any fucking question, like, hey, what would you do if like a shark walked up to you, it has legs now, and it starts like accosting you and giving you trouble, what would you do? And then they stare at me blankly for a moment, and sometimes, depending on the person, they either like consider the question, or they like, make a confused face, or whatever, but after I've bombarded them enough times, they grow accustomed to it, they start answering the questions, I've heard a lot of weird ones, right? I asked my coworker if he, how much money it would take to shoot me in the head, right? Assuming that's not illegal. And he said he was willing to do that shit for $10,000. Keep in mind, my coworker makes more than me, has like a nice car, like he's fine. And he's not like a bad guy. Like I've never gotten vibes that this guy sucks. So I, you know, and, and so some people listening to this would probably, you know, agree with that. Like, oh yeah, 10K, like, I mean, fuck it, to kill just like some guy I don't care about. And like, there's no repercussions at all. Yeah, 10K would change my life, you know what I mean? But I don't think of it that way, so, so you know, in picking people's brains like this, I get new perspective, right? No one is boring in this sense. They just cannot be because there's too much going on in a brain that has been developing for years and years and years for that to fucking not be true. So, so bringing it back to my funny little cartoon, my funny anime that I was talking about, which isn't that good, by the way. Like, I wouldn't, it's, I'm not like recommending Bigot to HK to you, all right? It's, it's, it's more just that it got me thinking on this. And I think this guy is a good example of it because he is not boring. You know, this girl is blown away by his photography because she realizes that his perspective on the world and the way he sees it is totally different from the way she does. Like, like she looks at his photo and she's like mesmerized. And it occurs to her like, oh fuck, like he's, like humans are not perceiving anything the way I am. Like we all see shit differently. It's a, it's an interesting thought. I think we gotta lend more credence to the folks around us. What do you think? Huh? Fuck you. I'll fucking kill you, motherfucker.